can't really see, but we've made it. We're just playing a song that's like really appropriate right now. Bakery, and then check out the creek, and then Big Red time. We gotta check out Big Red. And I want to go to the Roadhouse. Oh yeah, we should probably get go to Roadhouse sticker. first. Get a sticker for the car. Stick for the car. Birdsville. We're gonna get a Birdsville pub for. Yeah. Have a kill. Spin her around. We want to see our mugs. We want to see the bloody. Get some camels. There's a bloody board. Like a water ball, not a bloody pig. What's that? Big truck. Coffee. That's the Birdsville Caravan Park. That's where we'll be later. That's the roadhouse. Which one? Oh, up there, that big park is still the thing. That's an old looking house. That's a sad looking house. There's the pub. Great Southern Lane. Southern Caravan Park. But we're currently on the, on the search for the bakery. Look at our mates. There they are. There's our mates. Oh, yeah, we made little friends with some old people last night. And they're staying at the Caravan Park. So there's an info centre and a roadhouse. Nice. Oh, the copper's getting some work done. We saw the right. copper drive in. Not very good film, right? I'm just having a look around. Not a point, Taking in point, my scenery. You get a point with your camera when you're looking. Cooper you said that I look like a skater this morning because I had my sunnies on like this. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> it's because this is the only beanie we have in the car. So. Bakery. Bakery, where are you? Does that say bakery? That's the pub. Spin around, we want to see the pub. We've got to stop down here to spin it around, guys. <laughs> you get caught sick of it. Caught sick of it. Copper station out to the left. It's the bloody bakery. We'll I think be we there. drove past it. Actually, I think I should go straight. And then straight. That's where oh, we'll... Oh, did you want to do a scenic flight? A scenic flight? Yeah, it goes over to Lake Air and comes back. How much is that gonna be? I don't know, it's probably like 200 bucks each, but it'd be awesome to go fly on one of those planes. It could be definitely worth it. All right, I think it's the bakery here. No. Come on. <laughs> I can't focus until I go to the bakery. This is outrageous. All right. We'll be is back that with the you. actual bakery? I think so. Well, it's a coffee shop, so surely it's a bakery. No, I don't reckon that's the bakery. In the book, it looks different. Let me have a look. Bakery. Birdsville Bakery. It's down here. Two minute drive. I'm not going to that fake one. I want the real deal. Where is it? Here we go again. Ta -ta. Must Love. be the locals' coffee shop because I fucking start getting some walks. Yeah. Is that the coffee shop there, yeah, right? Wow, wow, wow. See, I told you I couldn't concentrate until I got, went to the bakery. It literally is over there. You can't even see it in the camera right now, but it has on the roof Birdsville Bakery. And it's massive. Let's Look at see. all the. Mad yeah, you just look where all the bloody caravans are. Hard, hard road cafe. Look at the sign, the size of the sign. Birds, you have to do it out your window. Yeah. You can see it now, Birds Full Bakery. See it. We are 
rat, big red. We are. There is shitloads of flies. Literally, just yeah, we got out of the car. No flies. We're like, we're gonna take it anyway. Took two steps. Boom. All these flies. Flies everywhere. They're lucky with that. There's the car down there. Looking small as anything. Right, big red. Big red is the biggest sand dune in the Simpson. We'll see you when we're at the top. <laughs> Well, someone, I just saw someone drive further. We've made it to the top. It's pretty windy up here. I'd hate to be going the other way. Yeah. I think if we end up doing the Simpson on the way back from west to east, maybe next year, we'll time it right with the winds. Because at the windy, moment, yeah. You'd want to be going east to west, it'd be easy as. You're not cold? No. <laughs> There's the red bird. Nice, just like sand. Pretty steep this one. I can't even see them. Do I have many on me? You got pretty much none on you. Probably all on you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, look, this is buddy. It's just about vertical on this little bit here. It's like straight down and then kind of plateaus out a little bit, but. Some of these ruts are so deep. Got the big line, two lines, and then the smaller line, and that outside one. It's a bit. I think it's the easiest to track. These are all just the fun ones. So I'm pretty sure they have the big red bash on the other side of the dunes here, where it's all smoothed out. So they probably prep the prep the field for when they have big red bash in a couple months. I think it's July or something. Yeah, I think it was July. Yes. So, this is our camp at Birdsville, and we've just come back from making dinner, and the bloody crows have just demolished our bin. Like we didn't have too much in it, just paper and stuff, but Coop's gone over there to chase the... Um, to chase the other rubbish that has blown away. Naughty crows. All right, what do we got here? Curried camel pie. Camel pie. Curried. Moment of truth. <laughs> Did you not get no sauce? I'm not sure. Let me go again. You're not sure on it? It's the same, hey? Like chicken or beef? Beef. Yeah. yeah. I don't think like the curry just overpowers it most of the, the camel. Most of it, but Can I have a bite? It's a little bit tough. There's a little nugget bit there. I'll get the nugget bit. Oh. I give you one pie and you wreck it. One bite. Remember that time I gave you that pie? Actually, you wanted a bite of my pie and absolutely destroyed it. Oh, we have a friend. Yeah, it can't, the curry kind of just like overpowers it, hey. Mm. Still good though.
Good morning. Morning. So, we're just leaving the caravan park at Birdsville. Yeah, we've been here for two nights. Yes. We didn't really film very much, but um, that's all right because we've got today and then tomorrow we're actually doing the, I think we've got like half the population of flies, flies in Birdsville in the car right now. Um, we're doing the flight. Yeah, we got it's an expensive flight, but it's worth it because all of the channel countries flooded and we get to see it from the air and Apparently this year is going to be a dry year, the mm. El Nino, El Nino, so I don't know what it is. it's like the, so it's the La Nina where it rains heaps and we've got the opposite where it goes into a drought, mm. so, um, so it's going to get pretty dry out here Yeah. and when we come back around there's a good chance there'll be nothing in here, so we've got a 7am flight which will be good because we'll actually be able to see the sunrise and yeah. we go into South Australia, go to the pub for morning tea slash lunch. Yeah, we go to William Creek Hotel. And then, um, and then we come back. Yep. But, but what that's are we? Just one thing today. Yep. What are we tomorrow? doing? We're doing that tomorrow, but today we're going to go to Air Creek. We just, drive like 30 dunes. Just gone into just the roadhouse because what do you little, need? I need to get a flag. For the I don't know where I'm going to mount it there. Can you put it, oh, is there a spot on that other side? There is a hole there, I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll have a look. Oh, it's two bucks fifty. Yeah, two dollars fifty for diesel here. I wonder if I should just chuck in like... Maybe we'll suss out the price at the other one, see if it's... I think it's, it's the same here. Yeah. But they might do us a sneaky. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Alright, go get us the flag. Alright. We've arrived back again. We this have. is our second time. So, just gotta put the flag on, yep. drop tyres, and then Brit's gonna run up the hill and we're gonna film it. Yes. Do you wanna share how much the flag cost us? 150 bucks. Rip off. Rip off. Should just keep the bloody receipt and then go and return it. I don't think I'll. Nah. Like she, she looked like she'd probably feed me if I did that. <laughs> Copy. Alright. Well, drop the tyres, flag on, I'll run up, and then I'll give you a wave. Give me a wave, and then we'll be on Donkey Kong. Um, Are you going to be able to see me from there? Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to have it on here. No, see me. Yeah, up should, on... if you stand at a spot where you can see me, obviously. I'm going to wave okay. down the bottom of the hill. Ciao. Ciao. Woo! Here we go.
It's a sad day to be a drone. Look, these are 60 bucks each, so you can replace them. But we've snapped the gimbal inside the head there and Oops. the body's cracked there. I don't know how much. Um, I reckon it would just be easier to get a new one here. Yeah, we'll get one that um, auto dodges trees. <laughs> <laughs> but the we got the GoPro and we got the shot, so it <laughs> don't matter. The, at least the GoPro's alright. The GoPro's are right. filthy. Yeah. And the whole back's ripped out of it. That'll be the title of this episode. <laughs> Back. Driving, Driving back. back before we bloody break anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Drain's alright. We can't break the car, that's for fucking sure. No. Honestly, no. I was looking at the drone when I was flying. I should have been looking at the bloody screen. The screen. Because if you look at the drone, the drone's coming at you, all the controls are opposite. That's what you gotta remember. So you gotta you gotta always look at the screen when you're driving, because then you actually watch where it is. And I forgot I had it on pro mode, so it goes even faster, it's not on like safety mode. Bloody fangs it. Fangs it into the absolute tree. <laughs> Took just about every leaf off the bloody tree. <laughs> oh god. But it just means we're gonna have to get a mint drone that doesn't crash into trees and flies further. Because I just realised the GoPro drone only flew, I think it was 900 metres. Yeah. And it only goes up 150 metres. It's got all these safety spec shit on it. So, viewers out there, in the comments, drop your favourite drone. What one you think's the best? Wow. While we're just boosting it up the drones. Yeah, drop, drop below what a drone is a good drone. Yeah, Mavic Pro, Mavic Air, or Phantoms. I think the DJI is the go apparently these days, but. Let me know down there. Yep. Yep. Big red. We're gonna try one of the one of the um, lines. One of the steep lines. So turn around. Don't mind our dirty windscreen. Don't mind our voices either. Yelling and and I don't know how well I can hold hold the drone. Um, not that bloody. I'm on drone time in my brain right now. Hold the GoPro. Hold, spin the, around, hold the GoPro out. still. Look at us. Right now. Um, let's go left. Oh fuck, I'm scared. Oh, oh shit balls. Alright. <laughs> I think everything in the car's just been the back has I don't know if you can see it's just been absolute did you nearly run into a tree? No, I'm just trying to slide down the back has just been absolutely trashed. Are we going back up that one or a different one? Oh load and load. third high. <laughs> Why did you, is that the right one to do third high? I don't know, I was just doing a test. We almost made it on third high. That's pretty impressive. Are you going to go that one again or the other one? I don't know. 
Now we stalled it. Stalled it? We're all good. I don't know if we're gonna, we might have to go back. Oh no. Just go forward, 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 forward. Oh, we just went down. We're gonna have to go back. We almost went. <laughs> You're joking. Oh. We're literally at the freaking top. We were, we, so, we were so close to, we backed off too early. We're gonna have to Do go back. Do you want me to wait out here and film you going up? Yeah, you may as well. I need to do a nervous one. <laughs> there he goes. There's an aeroplane up there. That's what we're going to go in tomorrow. So this is definitely the hardest one. So third time lucky. We'll see if we can if we can get it. <laughs> I'll just show you. That is where we bloody got to. You joking? Going all the way back. Good. All right, going back down. The bruiser, the cruiser, cannot conquer the big one. That's to there again. That's all right. I'm just gonna go over to the next one, and we'll try the other one. All right, this is the new line. Still pretty steep. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. I reckon it'll take that left side. It's a bit more straight, so we'll see how we get. Ta-da! <laughs> 
Jeez. I felt heaps better on that one. I think it's too soft on that other ramp. Oh. oh, it's this one here. Hello. We have arrived at the Birkin Wells dig tree. One of them. There's many. There is. Apparently there's some rocks at the... Why are you um, walking Because like I was like stretching my arms. Do it again. Like this. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> stop that now. Birkin Wells dig tree. As I was saying, there is a rock or something over at the... Here um, it is. Where we're getting on the flight tomorrow. This is what they marked out. This is a little blaze that they cut out. It's not as good as the one in Ninaminka. I might even just drop that one in. Do you have a video of it or just I do it? have a video of it. Oh better at Inaminka. It's the one to go to because we've got a face carved out inside the um, tree. So this Did is... they carve their own face? They carved... Um, I can't remember who carved it but I no I don't think so. But they had like four or five different trees they marked at that creek and I think they died at Inaminka. I don't know if they made their way all the way up north and then come back and then they died at Inaminka or yeah not sure well I don't know oh Mr Burke Mr Wills so they started here and they went all the way up there to mark out the Gulf of Carpentaria yeah. and then when they were coming back they died perished perished they sent out survivors sent out people sent out um Exploration teams to find parties, search for survivors, and there's a creek up north that is in memorabilia of it to remember them. This is actually their their full route and their camps all the way up here, so they did make it. Mm, just not on the way back. No. But. Cut to a clip of Cooper at the Birkenwells tree in Inaminka. Bugged. He just went and chopped all this wood so he can have a fire. But the sun is just setting. I don't know if it's going to focus. Should focus. Look at that. Woo. Bloody beautiful. Show them the whole river. Fire. Camp there. Not a bad free camp, mm -hmm. just outside Birdsville. Yep. If you want to save money, Go this, there. this is like the whole creek is free, all the way down. Dinner is done, chicken curry, we've got the rice in our bowls, and Coop is lighting the fire. Done. Look at that bloody fire. Bloody beautiful. The bloody views, bloody beautiful too. Beautiful. Oh. Should have stayed here for the last three nights. Would have saved ourselves 40 bucks and a few trips to the pub. Probably would have run out of wood real quick though.
in South Australia. It's your first time? Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. And we get to go back too. It's not like we're done. So we're at Bloom Creek and we'll probably just go for a little walk around, go to the pub. I think they have teas and cakes there for us. We're gonna go check out the pub there's the rest of the aircraft. Awesome. That's a good perspective of how big the inland sea was when, when the dinosaurs were still around. This year, all one big, one big sea. We're going to be in luck with this one. You'll have to do it faster. So, we just had to swap over GoPros because the other one died. Yeah, so you're on the 7 now. But we're going to go check out the campground. And then check the fuel process here and then we'll get go back, back on the plane. On the plane. Not too bad. So, we're going to go check out the campground now. Super basic. Yep. Birdsville, 720 k's. Singapore, London, Paris. Paris, 15,000 k's, just there. 800 k's to Adelaide, so it's actually closer to go to Birdsville than Adelaide still. <laughs> New Zealand, 34,000, I mean 3,400.
an hour of flying. Yeah. What do you think of that? It was sick. It was worth it. Yeah. Even though it, cost it was a bit expensive, leg. but it was definitely and worth it. Shout out to those two people that come on the plane with us last minute. Saved yeah. us four hundred dollars. Yeah, made it a bit cheaper. Made it a bit cheaper. But it was cool to like get like the perspective from above. Yeah, it was cool to like even just to hear about Air Creek and like it's a one in a twenty year um, flood. Yeah. Through the set through the desert, like the um, so no one's been able to do the Simpson Desert run for like three months. I yeah. Because it's literally just been that much water in it. Yeah. And we should have got the photos from the pilot, not the pilot that we had. The, oh, the, the guy bloke, that we booked like it through. Like at the reception, he had a photo because he went over there. I think it would have been the Saturday, and he said it was only just coming out. We could see it. It was only just coming out the heads mm. now it was like and today's what, thursday so today's thursday so it's been like what's that a few days five days and it's traveled about it would have been at least like three or four k's into lake air it was sick and then yeah like we were, we were traveling pretty low following the creek um the warbed creek or river all the way to lake air but on the way back we flew up at like I think it was 7,000 feet. Yeah, we could so we kind of right like see there. right above yeah. um, Lake Air. You could see the whole of Lake Air and like your whole yeah. vision. Then we and had about an hour to walk around William Creek. It was so much cooler there. Yeah, the like temperature wise. But um, and then we're back here and it's 26 degrees. Yeah, like there's literally nothing there. Like we went to the pub and had morning tea and then pubs across the road from the caravan but yeah like that's basically all it, all it is and the um, pilot said that there's only actually four permanent people that live there yeah so, so yeah probably the publican the homesteader the caravan parker and I think there was two um two homesteads like outstations like yeah there, maybe where all the ringers and shit live so they're not, obviously not permanent because they don't live there yeah but yeah but see. would definitely recommend definitely recommend if you got the spare cash yeah but we are on the road so we're heading towards mount isa it's gonna take us uh, two to three days yeah about two to three days so it's 12 45 we're gonna stop off at the ruins where we camped a few nights ago and have make some lunch get changed into some cooler clothes and then we'll be just straight driving until camp tonight which we don't know where it is but we'll find it somewhere yeah. Well, that is Birdsville, done and dusted. It is it. Hope you enjoyed that one. That one was fun to make. It Even was. Even though we broke a drone. We went on a bad helicopter um, airplane ride. Yes. It was sick. The car looks like a bomb has gone off in it. That is tonight's job. Well, that is the end of our Birdsville episode. Yep, all done. Done it's and been, dusted. It's been a pleasure. It has. You definitely come to Birdsville if you're thinking about it. It's so much fun, so much things to do. Yeah, definitely. Caravan Park's 20 bucks if you want to stay at the Caravan Park or you can literally stay on the creek for free. Yeah. And you would have seen last night, that was mint. I was, yeah. Like you could have stayed there the whole time. Yeah. It was awesome. The only thing is, actually no, there is public showers next to the Caravan Park so you don't really have to stay at the caravan park if you don't want to. Yeah. It's public showers. The only thing that costs heaps is flights if you want to go on a flight or you know beers are I think it was nine bucks for a beer. Yeah, for which a like, nine these days, day and age, it's nearly the same price as what it is. But it's actually cheaper to buy a beer in Birdsville than it is to buy a beer in Sydney. So mm -hmm. it's that's it's ridiculous. Yeah. But um thank you for watching. Yeah. Enjoy. And we'll see you in the next episode. As we head north and then east and then south and then we're north. Who knows where we're going? Who knows? <laughs>